against my better judgment, we're giving the apple of the week to HBO. Congratulations, HBO. You are the best news story of the week. So in case you missed it, HBO did release their, what would you call it, Well, like their, their 2019 roadmap? Yeah, yeah, their yeah, their their game plan, or just uh, yeah, essentially everything to be excited for in 2019. Which you know, 2019 is going to be a big year, not only for film. I mean, Disney had a hell of a year in 2018, projected to have another one. Um, but again, we wanted to more so focus on television, uh, just because I think the dynamic is really shifting from individuals within the entertainment industry to want to get involved with television. It used to be something that was just never thought of to move from film to TV. We've seen that kind of reverse. So with HBO, particularly in the content they produce, it's phenomenal. It's really exciting stuff. So there is a great lineup in 2019, but we have some standouts that we're really excited for. I think, uh, you know, really honestly, I think the one that we had particularly drawn some focus to is The Watchmen. Um, you know, after... And, you know, based on Alan Moore's beloved graphic novel, very influential, um, you know, there's a lot to be excited for. But, um, you know, one thing that I'm particularly excited for, those that were fans of The Leftovers, so we have the creatives behind that, Damon Lindelof, uh, Nicole Castle, all of which were involved with The Leftovers. And I think there's going to be a lot of great that they can do with this series. It's going to be a little bit different. It's not a direct ap- adaptation. It's going to be taking a place a couple years after the events of the graphic novel but there's a lot of great things to come from that as well now so with with watchmen and again with with everything that we're talking about with the apple of the week they released a a teaser trailer really is what i would call it um like a highlight reel of all the shows that are new and old that are going to be coming in 2019 and that released was like during the Golden Globes, whatever mm-hmm. award show that Kevin Hart didn't get to do. Um, uh, yeah. Still, great year for Netflix, though. <laughs> yeah, great year for Netflix. <laughs> great year for Netflix. But yeah, so Watchmen was the first thing that at least caught my eye. I loved I the movie. Did yeah, you Did you watch the movie? I liked the movie. I actually loved the movie. Um, you know, Zack Snyder for, you know, what you will say about Zack Snyder. I think he did a great job with the adaptation. So if you're ever listening to the conversation, And you're like, oh, man, they're talking about Zack Snyder. This is terrifying. I'm going to log off right now. (laughs) (laughs) We're not talking about Zack Snyder. He didn't get the Apple of the Week. Uh, That is listed at the bottom. Um, But bringing it back to the HBO show, I'm I'm pretty excited. Like after I watched a a breakdown. So it's in Oklahoma. It's not in that big metropolitan setup that it was in the movie. Mm -hmm. And so we're getting that rural feel. But we still get the feeling that it's part of that larger universe. And... Spoilers, if you've never seen the movie, I would say stop listening now and, and come back in maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So in this trailer, we see – so everybody's wearing masks. The whole police force, everybody's wearing these yellow masks. Um, we see two other characters who I personally didn't recognize. Um, they're wearing these, you know, ski masks, these coverings. Um, and then, like, the big shot at the end. Of course, we see Jeremy Irons. Um, he is going to be reprising the role of the – Secret uh, bad guy. Yeah, yeah, it would be, yeah. The big baddie. The big baddie. I forgot his name. So at the end of that, Rorschach dies. But in this trailer, there's a, a character with a mask, but it's got the Rorschach paintings. Now it's not moving, so I don't think it's you know some some plot no jitsu, some you know comic book magic where he's just back alive. But I mean, what what, what do you think? I mean, do you, what do you speculate? Is Rorschach alive or is this a copycat homage? Just to speculate, I would certainly say that, again, if anything, it's more of an homage than, you know, the dude exploded. Right? Like, he was in a million different pieces. Yeah, so. He was liquefied. <laughs> you know, but that's what's fresh about a TV series coming years afterwards. I mean, he was literally, like, to your point, liquefied. So yes. if they were to bring him back, I mean, I'm sure they're going to dive into that. But that's the glory of television, right? We yeah. get an opportunity to explore characters, explore storylines over a, a, a little bit more of an extended period of time. There's just more room for that sort of development. If Dr. Manhattan is going to be in the series... How naked is he? <laughs> Are we getting more blue penis? <laughs> that's that's what I want to know. How naked is he? Oh man! 
I'm excited for the show. Um, and just to kind of wrap up on HBO, you know, I, I think HBO has a lot of great other things coming up. Touching on Game of Thrones. That's mm-hmm. it. Game of Thrones is coming to an end. Yeah. Like, what a phenomenal run it has Huge. been. Um, really excited to see how everything is going to conclude. If certain things will end up concluding, you know, it, who knows? We could be left with a cliffhanger. They already have the prequel series coming out, which should be interesting. Um, that's in production. I know it's a lot. Um, just even more characters for you to think about not wanting to get attached to because you know they're gone the next episode or even within the same episode they've been introduced. Um, and then uh, True Detective is making another comeback, which I think is awesome. I think uh, the second season was a little bit of a disappointment for those that were huge fans of the first season. That's what I heard. Um, especially that bromance between Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. That was awesome. Are they not in the second season? No, so it's a, it's an anthology series. So it's going to be new characters, new stories every single time. Um, and so I think it was nice to see Vince Vaughn in that kind of role, but it, just, it didn't carry over as well for me. Colin Farrell, it, there was just a lot of things I felt detached from. Like I didn't really find myself investing in it, or it, I found it difficult to invest in the characters. Now, all the main characters within True Detective so far mm-hmm. have been proven to be flawed, but yeah. I mean that's some of the appeal of a lot of them. It depends on how they're portrayed. Yeah. If you want to connect with us like we want to connect with you, you can go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Search Borderline Entertainment. Where you'll find us. You can like, comment, follow, subscribe. All of those wonderful goodies. And you can be a part of the community. Be a part of the conversation. Again, this is your Wednesday wrap-up, your weekly entertainment news wrap-up, brought to you by Borderline Entertainment. For us, for Will, for Borderline Entertainment, I'm Asa Green River. Be well. <laughs>